Go live, we're live. Okay, welcome. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Uh, we will start now uh, the activated vegan seminar. We will make burgers. We will make burgers. And um, I promise you, we will cook in 10 minutes. So uh, just for those who are on YouTube, we have a live Zoom session here with people with their ingredients that they are going to cook. Um, any details that um, you might need, uh, they are all in the ebook of our seminar. So those who have the ebook of the seminar or um, they register for the seminar, small details like the digestive formulas or um, why we don't mix too many ingredients together, they are all in the ebook and the videos. So I will try now to go further and do a more practical session. Uh, without why, just like that. I will try to explain some little things. And the Max is here to help me. I'm going to show you guys some close-up cooking yes. and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, just for those who, who don't know him, Max uh, made the platform, made everything. Uh, he made the seminar. Okay? I was just behind the cameras doing stuff. And he you did all the rest. <laughs> ah, yes, front. <laughs> and he was uh, doing the rest. So... I want now to a, a little bit to check the Zoom people, but it might be interesting for the YouTube people as well to know that um, we don't need to have all the ingredients. Now we'll see what we have. So I want everyone to show me your ingredients. So lentils or any other pulse sprouted, if possible. Do we all have it? And just show it at the camera. Yes, perfect. I saw it. Yes, lovely. Sabine? Do we have it? Okay, I know some people uh, do not have. Uh, Vayamu? Do you yes, have? Astra, okay, great. Great, I have it. Close the microphone and show me the sprouted lentil soup. That's lovely. I have some people that there are no camera. Okay, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I can see, I can see, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can see. Perfect. Lovely. So then, one vegetable. So you need one vegetable, any vegetable. We suggested carrot. Great. Good, good, good. We suggested carrot. So one vegetable for each person and one cup of sprouted pulse for each person. Okay? That's another one on you see what I do? I just yeah. Do all and <laughs> um, so one very nice uh, Satirula, I'm very proud of you. Very nice. One aromatic herb, any aromatic. We suggest parcel, okay, parsley. But any aromatic herb, fresh aromatic herb would do. Perfect. And and then we have um, the formula, the digestive formula. We suggest the digestive formula that we have in our um, seminar. Uh, the four burgers. So in our seminars, we have at, on page 40, I think it's page 40, we have this, the digestive formula. Um, Yvette, you have the garam masala formula. This is great. This is also in the list of the formulas in the book. Just very quickly, for those who don't have the book, I will very quickly say the, the spices, just in case you have them around. It's paprika, coriander, Cumin, cinnamon, chili, or black pepper. Uh, this is the formula. <inaudible> Paprika, coriander, cumin. Αφού είναι τα ίδια. Paprika, coriander, cumin, canela, και ή μαύρο πιπέρι ή chili. All right. Can you say it in English again? Paprika, coriander, cumin, cinnamon, chili, or black pepper. Okay, there this is go. what we will use, but I, I talked with some of you on Zoom and you might have other things and uh, we, we can, uh, you can use what you have, any uh, formulas you have. Any, you can, yes, instead of parsley or put both, but don't put too much. Yes, you can, you can. Mm -hmm. All right, and... Then we have, 
one vegetable, one aromatic herb, the formula. If you want to use onion, I will use leek. Someone brought me leeks. And I will use them. Thank you, Anna, for bringing us leeks. So we will use leek instead of uh, onion, but otherwise I wouldn't use anything. Again, check the seminar and I explain why. Um, but you can use onion if you want. Ne, Daphne? About the spices, how much do we need? To one teaspoon. Uh, it's one uh, teaspoon for each, and you make the formula, and then you use one the teaspoon person, per one. person. Oh, okay. So actually, use one teaspoon for each. Make it. Uh, if you want to use less chili, uh, maybe you should because you might not be used to. So half a portion of chili. And the rest, one teaspoon, and you mix them. And then you take from this mixture one teaspoon for each person. Okay. Is it clear? Hmm? One more time. I have black pepper, I have cinnamon, I have paprika, and I have uh, cumin. You Is miss coriander, coriander powder. Okay, okay, great. So use the other ones and then mix them and use one for each person that you will make. Okay, so you mean I'm going to make four for four people. It depends one teaspoon for me. So four, 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 yes, four. Someone is asking how they can join the Zoom. Um, I, um, okay, um, it's too late, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I can we cannot uh, now, we cannot send. You must, um, if you need, if you have any questions, please type on, on, uh, YouTube, it's not possible right now. Exactly. Yeah. Um, just type in okay. your questions um, so, here uh, into now, grain. the live stream. Need also a grain, and I'm going to uh, show you be, around uh, for the cooking. It would, it, the, the grain will uh, make it a complete protein. So we need a grain. We need a grain right now. Right. Is the audio okay? Can you guys hear us well on YouTube? I think they can. Please write in the chat if you okay, can hear I'll, us. I'll leave from here because they talk. So, uh, <laughs> we're going to start in a minute. We've got a lot of people on Zoom that want to cook with us. And they have some more questions. Like I said, you guys can type your questions in here and I will try to answer them or ask Corinna to answer them. We're going to start in a minute. She will perfect the system very soon. Very good. So we have many people here from our our our, our Hi everyone. From where are you guys group. tuning in? Right in the in the chat. I'm curious where you guys are from. If you're from Cyprus or if you're from somewhere else. <laughs> You are out of the subject, Maria. <laughs> All right. So, um, from Lima, Seoul. Hi. <laughs> so we, perfect. Really close, but five minutes from here. But okay. So uh, this is the, so we have the lockdown game. kind of cooking session. All right, now I will say some things and then we will just start. Just don't cover the, the not chat. Cover. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to combine both. All right, so the theory now. I will just say two, three things on the theory and then we'll make it into action. All right? Here. No, okay. There. The, the point of this seminar right now is to show you that we do not need to cook a burger, cook the ingredients, and then put them together and cook again to make a burger. Because by cooking it twice, you destroy the energy. The, the prana, the vitality of the food is getting lower. So the whole point of this seminar is to show you that we can, we can uh, keep the ingredients raw and cook them and then the burger will be activated. Those of you who ate at Solar Kitchen Bar, you know that every time you eat, you feel that uh, it's, uh, you feel that the food gave you energy, didn't take you energy. It's because of that, because we keep everything raw. 
Everything is raw. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, there we go. So that's the whole uh, theory, of, the, the whole point of it. So we'll keep them raw, nothing cooked. I was planning to, to cook also, to do, to do it non-activated, but then I couldn't be bothered, guys. So we will not, we'll do only the activated, we'll eat it and it will be great. And just remember this taste and uh, uh, look for it. Look for this live, live, alive food in the next few days. And that's it. So this is one theory that uh, we need to, I need to say. And what else? Mm. Not many ingredients. Not many ingredients, and we will not use too many ingredients, and we will use ingredients that we have. Not uh, So if you don't have carrot, you will use spinach. If you don't have spinach, use, I don't know, uh, whatever vegetable you have, it's okay. Hmm? Uh, and you don't need to go and uh, shop from uh, the... From an, to, to find the ingredients that are coming from far away or anything. Whatever we have, we will make a burger. And the third thing is that we will not mix the carbs and the proteins. So theoretically, the protein is the sprouted lentils, the main protein. Those who have the seminar, you know there is a list with the main proteins. Okay, so the main protein is the sprouted lentil in this case. And the main carbohydrate is the rice or any other grain you have to cook. We will not mix them in the burger. We will eat them together, but we'll cook them separate. In this way, we can control the quantities. And it, by controlling the quantities, we make protein. We actually collect all the amino acids that we need to uh, to, to give to our body all the amino acids we need to make protein. This is why we separate them, in order to con col uh, control the quantities and have protein and have a food that can keep us um, full for many hours. We will not feel hungry after that. That's why we said that this seminar and generally the activated vegan food system is not only for vegans, it's for everyone because everyone will feel satisfied after the food. Okay, so let's start. Now, first thing, now you will not see me too much, you will see what uh, we're doing and Max will control the rest. So I try to show the, the Zoom people also a bit more of the uh, cooking? If you or? want, yes, please. I'll yes, try. If you can do both, yeah. If you can do, good luck. Max will try to show, to hold both cameras. All right. We'll get that done. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I've lost you. I ah. can't see or hear you properly. Ah, me pues que Can you hear? Can you hear us now? Yeah, much better. Uh, I think somewhere is. I don't know. Mm. Try again. Tell us again if you yeah, cannot if some, hear. If you can't hear or yes, see it, tell just us again. let us know. So, count. In 10 minutes, we will have food, guys. In 10 minutes. So, we have. We will prepare, our, while we prepare the burgers, we will let the uh, grains cook the, the rice. So, we will open one, um, put it in, in fire, one uh, pan in fire, and you will put a little bit of very, very, very little oil. Very little oil. It's for the rice now. Very little oil. And I don't have rice, by the way. That was a surprise. I have, <laughs> uh, I have uh, oat. Because I wanted to show you that uh, the oat, what is real oat? It's not these flakes that you buy from the from the shops. This is, how oat, this is how oat looks. So instead of rice, I will cook oat. All right, let's see. Right. So I put fire and I will use some, uh, 
you know this this is from the spinach the leaves uh, i removed the leaves from the spinach and i have this i will use it to with my rice or my grain uh, if you don't have this you can use the parsley you see use the parsley uh, stems the part are called, are these ones from the parsley i will use both actually so you cut them parsley or spinach i don't want to throw away anything so this And YouTube, it looks like you're left-handed. I am. <laughs> I am left-handed. I mean, like you're cutting with the other hand. Uh -huh. It's more. Yes. So, we have this. Yeah. Do you only cut the stem or also the leaves? No, only the stem for the rice. Only the stem that you are going to... Very small. Yes. Did you turn the heat on or not yet? Uh, yes, the heat is on. So, switch on, switch the heat on. And this is... Is it on high or on low? High for now, high. And maybe you can work, um, you can have some water heated as well if you want. Otherwise, just use cold water. Anyway, there is plenty of time for the food to be cooked. So now the, the, the oil is hot. I will add the stems of the... Look, can you hear it? And I will also add the soaked soaked or not soaked um, rice, uh, I use oat. I added some... Uh, On YouTube we have a question, where can we find this oat? This oat? Uh, I buy it from the organic shop and they are from Greece. They are Greek, from the organic shop, whole oat. Okay, whole oat from the yeah. organic shop, there you go. So, if you can bring the camera, you see, here it is. So I put half a cup for each person. It's me and Max here, so it's two cups. Uh, it's one cup, but I'm afraid you might. Max eats too much. I will put a little bit more. I don't want to. I ca just count I me for two. <laughs> count me for two people. Yes, count for two people. So, <laughs> so and I will add a little bit more spinach. And if you want to put some onion, you can. Uh, you can add some onion in the food. I'll put a little bit of leek. Although I really don't like the smell of all this. But anyway, I'll put a little bit. Okay, so mix it. You put first the rice, then the onion. Uh, well, uh, in this case, it doesn't matter. You just put them all together. Uh, if you want to be perfect, put oil and then you put the onion and then you put the rice. If you want to be perfect. I just wanted to show you that you can cook oat in the same way you cook rice. This could be rice, but it is um, oat, whole oat. And now I will add some water. If you have cold water, better, but I will put cold right now. One. Now, because my oat was uh, soaked, because my oat was soaked, I will not add too much water. In the same way, if your um, rice is soaked, don't put too much water. So I put, uh, instead of double or put a little bit less yeah, you can see i think this will be fine but i will check it again so i will let it boil close it I will, when it starts boiling i will lower the heat let it be and let's make the burgers now this will put it as a side dish side dish with the burgers for complete protein now all right, burgers. Okay. Um, uh, give me more. You, uh, huh? you I'm listening. I'm listening. What is the What's with the rice? Do you soak it only overnight or do you soak it for longer? 
Only overnight or longer? Uh, overnight or even three hours is enough. Every three hours is more than enough, I think, for the oat especially. The oat, if you soak it, you can even eat it raw. But we cook it for the taste. So we have here our sprouted lentils. Hmm? This is how, the, how sprouted the lentils should be. Not more, because then the burger will not be uh, thick enough. So this is the limit. Um, watch it. I think your lentils were about there, those who I saw your lentils. This is it. And let's see. I will cut some parsley. I'm not professional in cutting. And I cut my finger like Max many times in the past. And <laughs> I hope it will not happen to any live session. Apart from that. Be safe with your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> and I will also cut the leek or the onion. You cut the onion. Forget about this. You, I hope you do it better than me. Okay, I will put it in the blender. Finish with that. A little bit more. Okay, I will put some leek in the blender. You can put some onion in the blender. Um, so I will keep some leek for the blender. And now get ready for the carrots. I found some beautiful uh, organic carrots, and they are not beautiful. They are, they are ugly, actually. You see them? They are very small and ugly, but they are organic. Look for the ugly vegetables. Most probably, they are better than the beautiful ones. And just uh, for one carrot for each person, but because my carrots are small, I will put two carrots for each person, and we are three. Two, max, and one for me. One, two, three. Sorry, I have to ask again. Did you already put the lentils in the pot? No, 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 no. Yeah. So no. The lentils are going to go in the burger, right? The lentils are going to go in the burger. This is the whole point. We are not going to cook the lentils before uh, the, making the burger. We will. Well, what we do now, we have a closed pot and we have turned the heat down. Yes. So what do we do now? <laughs> so now you, I, we cut the, the uh, we prepare the vegetables. Yeah. We cut the parsley. Yeah. We cut the, the the carrot. The carrot, we will put it in the blender right now. Yes, yes, yes. So, now. If you have a bigger blender, please use it. I have the Vitamix and I don't want to use the Vitamix. And I have this small blender, this small one. This you can make uh, for two, for one person. Mute. mute. Let me mute everyone, just a minute. Uh, remember when you have a question after, mute yourself again. Perfect. All right. So, the pot with the rice or oat is cooked, is uh, boiled right now, and now we'll make the burger. So I will make for one person, and because my my mixer, my blender is not very big, so two carrots, one one carrot, I add in one carrot. All right. Uh, Leek or onion in leek or onion and uh, and and the lentil one cup of sprouted lentil so the vegetable the uh, 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 onion or the leek or whatever and the lentils and 
also one teaspoon of formula. You see, Yvonne, I have the, the formula ready and I just add it. So I will not every time add all the uh, vegetable, all the spices. I have it ready. I make it. You will see on, um, on the seminar, there is a video showing how to make the formulas and why to make them like that and all the information. So here, now we have the vegetable, the onion or leek, the sprouted lentil and the formula. And this is for one person. Shall I put for one more? Let's do this one and then try to I'll do try rest. this one, I'm afraid. But if you have a bigger one, put for uh, pull all the ingredients together. Yes. So just got the blender. Blender and, and you can see. Ναι, τα βάλα όλα. Λίγο μου ήταν γλυκά. Και το μαϊντανό και το καρότι. Όχι, το μαϊντανό δεν τον έβαλα. Θα τον βάλω τώρα. Μόνο το μαϊντανό δεν έβαλα. I didn't put the parsley yet. Και τη φόρμουλα. Και τη φόρμουλα. Όλα εκτός το μαϊντανό. You could put the parsley in. Yes, and the formula, the spices. Yes. <laughs> All right. So this is now the mix we made. Okay, and you can see it's not. Uh, this is the 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 trap now. You can see it like that, and you will think, oh my god, uh, this is not a burger. I I must put uh, some boiled rice inside or boiled something boiled in order to to make the burgers but no this is the thing that you don't need to and you see we didn't put oil yet and we didn't put uh, anything to make it uh, together to put sticky. To, to make it sticky it's like that i will add some parsley you could put the parsley in the mixer if you want i i like to see the parsley around i, I like this so that's why i uh, i put it separate okay but if you find that uh, this creates bigger problems, you cannot uh, make it, it's more difficult to make it sticky, then uh, add it into the mixture. So this is now, let me bring a plate. Oh, yeah. and then, uh, when I done it the first time, with the parsley, I also put some fresh coriander. Oh, it's no, no, no. It gives it a beautiful taste. Very nice. Yes, you can put any aromatic uh, herb you like. Uh, I didn't have, I had parsley, so I put parsley, but you can put both. Yes, no problem. I want to show you something else as well with this, but not now. So here it is now. It's not sticky at all. I could add some water to make it sticky, but I want to avoid even added water because mm, it, it, you see it, it, you see it, it's, it's not easy, but try to make it because if you add water it will not be good for vata for those who create who, who create too much gas okay so uh, you can see now that because we put the carrot it's falling apart so i will add very little water very very little we have a question on youtube yeah. if my lentils aren't sprouted what to do <laughs> Uh, if your lentils aren't sprouted, uh, but are they soaked at least? That's the question. Are your lentils soaked at least? And if the lentils are sprouted more than what we showed, should uh, she use chickpeas instead? Sprouted? If the chickpeas are sprouted, yes, that is. might be a good idea. Even not sprouted, you know, even not sprouted, use any soaked pulse you have. It's it's okay because it it, it makes someone is in. <laughs> Did you accept? Yeah, Marie. With your nose. With my That's nose. amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. So, uh, any pulse you have, it's fine, as long as uh, it's soaked at least. So I put very little water, very little. You see, very little. That's it. I will not put too much 
uh, because I don't want it to become so now I will try to make it into a burger someone is trying to call me that that's the wrong time <laughs> <laughs> all right so I will make it into a burger you see try to make it into a push it push it and make it into a burger so I will not we will not have to put rice inside cooked rice or any other grain so here I made it all right I will show you how to cook it and not break it so I made the second one and one I will cook in the pan and the other one in the sandwich toaster in the sandwich toaster Marie Mario's in the sandwich toaster, it might it, it might be easier not to break. Okay. In the sandwich toaster, because you don't need to turn it. It cooks up and down at the same time. Shall we, shall we put it between buns? Be sure about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Uh, no, because it will not be cooked. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> So, so this is uh, one burger that we make, but I want to show you that you can make it also with spinach. I like the spinach burgers yes. a lot. Yes. They're great. So the spinach now, I, you take some spinach, some, a little bit of spinach, you see, not like, like that one handful, and you add it into the, you cut it, and you add it into your small blender you can have a bigger one if you if you want it might be easier and again you add your onion or leek you add one cup of uh, sprouted lentils don't worry it's full but it will go down very soon you add ah salt salt guys we didn't add salt i always forget the salt <laughs> So add salt into your mixture. No, miss, I prepared the barbone and the fact you know. No, 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 no. Add salt, please. I'm sorry, I forgot. So I will add good quality salt. We have the Mediterranean salt here. Half a spoon, I'm, I don't know, up to taste. Half a spoon. This has no salt now. We might have to break it. Salt it after. So, formula, vegetable, which is the, the um, spinach, sprouted lentils, and uh, onion, and salt. It's in there, and we will break it again. Okay, this will be easier to to not to break. It will not break so easily. It's more sticky because more of the spinach sticky. or what? Yes. More sticky because of the spinach, exactly. So if you are, if you don't want to try with a carrot, maybe you can add some spinach. Let me wash, watch this. It's coming back. It's low. So this now it's very easy. Look, look how easy you make burgers with this. That's it. It's done. It will not break. So you see, you, I didn't need um, rice. I just, uh, and if I used uh, water, more water on my spicy lentil, my lentil there, again, it would be fine. So here it is. And you see now we will cook them. Uh, we became experts in Solar Kitchen Bar in not breaking the vegan burgers without adding carbohydrates for, um, from the beginning. We became experts on that, and this is what uh, I want you to learn right now. So you will not need to put cooked rice or cooked or whatever, uh, any grain cooked in your burger in order to keep it together. So we made four burgers now, uh, two with carrot and two with spinach. Same, all the same, except that one we added carrot and the other one is with spinach. And use any other vegetable. I wash myself, my hands, and we. While this is cooked, we will make a sauce. 
usually I don't like sauces in me. I try, I prefer them dry, but I know that some people need a sauce, we will make a sauce. And now again, in the activated vegan food, we do not use extra ingredients for the sauce because then it's a lot, it's too much, um, too, too complicated. So we will use the same ingredients for the sauce. All right, and I'll show you how. So, same ingredients, what does this mean? We will use again this and a little bit more uh, oil or tahini. So if you have tahini, use tahini. If you don't have, uh, uh, use oil. If you have any other uh, nut butter, use nut butter, anything oily. So we need something oily. We need uh, the sprouted lentils for the sauce and a little bit of lemon maybe and salt and the same formula, okay? So I'll show you now a secret. A secret will be you will boil some water, boil some water now. Hopefully you all have heater, water heater. Boil some water. Mm -hmm. And we will soak the, the lentils in hot water. If we don't do that, the, 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 the sauce will be very bitter or earth, too much earthy and it will not be very tasty. So this is a small secret now. We will soak it in hot water. You can also um, just uh, stir, uh, put, it, put it in the pan and stir fry it without uh, oil. This is another solution you can do. We have a, a question here on YouTube. Yeah. Can we add beetroot instead of spinach? That's a nice idea. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, you can have beetroot. Yes. So, yes. Yes. Yeah. Very good idea. Beetroot burgers. Uh, how much more? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's about. Oh, perfect. Yes, perfect. Yes, of course you can. So, hot water, and we'll take um, just a minute. So, hot water, we will have, ah, let's say half a cup of sprouted chickpeas, if, uh, uh, not chickpeas, uh, lentils, if you have. and soak them in hot water. Uh, those of you who didn't, uh, who don't have enough chickpea uh, lentils, just make tahini. So just don't put the chickpea, don't, don't use chickpeas and just uh, tahini with a little bit of um, lemon, mix it, a little bit of water and you have your sauce for now. But what? Hmm? How much water did you put to the lentils? Whatever, you just soak them. I didn't I don't count. You oh, okay. soak them. Oh. You see? Yes. You soak them just right. to remove the, the this bitter taste that the lentils have when they are raw. Only for this. I remind you, you could even just add them into the pan and uh, cook them a little bit with or, with no oil. This is also okay. So I let I leave my not too much, I don't want to, oh, too much to leave them. Okay, I'll remove the water, that's it, enough. So now, in the Vitamix or any other uh, high-speed blend, blender or blender, I add the soaked in hot water uh, lentils I add the salt, especially we will need salt because one of the burgers has no salt. So <laughs> we need salt to taste. 
I will add the same formula, but if you want to use other spices, no problem. Now, you will use, I will use, you can use onion, you can add onion, I will use hink. In the activated vegan seminars, there is this solution to use this spice. I cannot now tell you where to find it or what it exactly it is. It's, it's called hink, hink, asafoetida. And this replaces the taste of the onion, but don't put too much because it's, it becomes bitter when you put too much. It needs very little and you think you have garlic and onion in your food, but you don't. And uh, it's a very nice replacement of the garlic and onion. Tahini, if you have whole tahini, that would be great. I don't have whole, but if you have brown tahini better, I will add some tahini. Uh, one for half a cup of chickpeas, one big spoon, one big spoon of tahini. I put three because it's a small spoon. Okay, big spoon, one big spoon of tahini. Yes? Can you please repeat what you put in the blender because I need to wash it? Okay. Uh, so, um, let me mute the blender. So, soaked uh, lentil in hot water, one big spoon tahini, half a spoon the, uh, the formula, the formula, salt, and I'll put some lemon, lemon as well. So, lemon. And instead of tahini, how much olive oil? No olive oil. No olive oil, no olive oil. tahini. And I'll put some lemon. You also put in some hink. Hink, yeah. Yes, and I put it the hink that most probably uh, you will not have. So you can put onion or uh, onion, uh, onion uh, uh, powder or garlic powder, whatever you want. I will add very little water. Water, very little water. And get ready. This is why awesome. I'm you mixing. You cannot tell us where we can buy something uh, online. Okay. And it's on the book, Marios. On the book. Okay. Yeah. find hink at the Sri Lanka shops, the Indian shops, they have. If you go to any... Okay, thank you. Yes, you can find. Uh, I, I saw a Sri Lanka girl, uh, ask her, Yvonne, who is it? Who is it there? Ask her and she will tell you where to find hink. So let me try. Uh -huh. I have two Sri Lankan shops, I know what to find. Perfect. Maybe I will use a little bit less, more water to be more runny, just a minute. Ah, and hmm, I forgot. If you want, if you want to make it more, how say, massa, for more people to like it, add a date in. Instead of sugar, we add a date. Uh, I like it without, but um, when I cook for others. I use the sweet taste more because they will like it. They will like the sauce better. So add one date or one teaspoon of coconut sugar or... Um, ready for those who want and now we will do the, the burger. Actually, 
Uh, if possible, yes. If you can make it completely smooth, that would be great. Can you please? Uh, Can you guys just mute yourself, please? Mute yourself, okay. please. Because yes. I don't have a free hand right now. Yes. <laughs> do Neither do I. So, all right. Mm -hmm. So now we have the pan ready. Remember, we didn't use oil yet. No oil. Okay? We didn't use any oil and our, food, our rice is ready. Hmm? We'll keep it there warm, leave it there. This will need now five minutes to be cooked and we are eating. Um, so, I will make one burger of each into the pan and one burger into the sandwich toaster to see both. Now, the sandwich toaster is much easier because it cooks up and down at the same time. You don't need to turn it so you will not break it. Okay? But I will show you a system so you will not break it even if it's in the pan. You need two spatulas. I wish Some I had ninja same. moves here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, I wish I had the same size, but not. This is what I have. This is what I will use. All right, we let them get hot. No oil yet. Did you realize? No oil. We will add oil, but not now, when it's uh, time. So, okay, we'll let it be hot. No oil and as less water as possible. I, again, push my, my lentils. Uh, I hope you made it like that and uh, you managed to keep them together. Did, did, did they manage to keep them together, Max? How are your burgers doing? Mm -hmm. They're sticking together? Sticking together. Show us or give us a thumbs up or down. Or down. So, <laughs> down, oh my God. Both. You didn't manage? Both. Really? Why? Well, oh, one is it kind of stuck Because my, my blender didn't blend all the lentils mm. completely, so some are a bit lumpy. Okay, do I it again. One. Yeah, just keep blend on blending a little smoother. Blend, in, blend it more. Blend it more. I was just worried I was going to break my blender. <laughs> so no, 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 no. It's, it's not possible to break it because it's very soft. The lentils are very soft. Never I put carrots in, big pieces of carrots. Hey. Maybe I should have grated the carrot. Okay, you know what you will do? Do you have a spinach or you said you had kale? Did you? I have Okay, put the, all the mixture of the length of the burger, put it back in the mixer and add kale. Okay. But because you will add kale, uh, add one date if you have, or uh, one fourth of an apple. All right, to make it, to give the sweet taste, to balance the bitter taste. All right. And then here it is. Now, it seems like it will break. No problem. Leave it, we'll fix it. This, it, it, um, this will not break, so I will just put it there and push it. So these are the two burgers for the, um, for the, uh, and broke. You see that it broke? We'll make it again. For, this is for the pan. I will leave it there. Mm -hmm. And this is for the uh, sandwich toaster, which uh, this is, I repeat, much easier. So here it is. I managed to keep it together. It's not easy with the carrot. It's much easier with the spinach. Uh, and that's why if, if your blender, it's not uh, breaking it, it doesn't make it too much. Add something uh, watery, like uh, kale or uh, spinach to make it easier. So here it is, and I will close it. I close yeah. this, and this I will leave it. I will not turn it yet, but just a minute, give me a moment. Look at this now, Max, if you can. So this is cooked on its own, it, re it will be, mm, no, I shouldn't open that. Don't open it, don't open it, <laughs> keep it closed. And this. Now, do this. We'll lower. This is very high. See? Push it inward. 
push it inwards and then flatten it. You push it inwards. Oh, it's separate. All right. Look, you push it inwards and then you flatten it. You push it in and you flatten it. In and flatten All this so we will not cook the rice and add it cooked inside. This is why we do that. <laughs> because we don't want to destroy the energy of the food. So this is much easier. It's time to turn it. So, and we flatten it. By the way, all the ingredients we put in here do not need to be cooked. You could eat them raw. So you don't need to cook them too much. Keep it almost raw. And we cook them for the taste, actually. So, and this will be full of life right now, full of life. So here it is. And now it's time to turn this one. So, so after I pull it in and, turn and flatten it, pull it in and flatten it many times, when it's it created a, a protective layer uh, underneath, I turn it and here we are. You see? This is how we make the burgers in a solar kitchen bar. That's why when you order a burger, you wait more than when you go to, to order a Mac burger. You wait more because we don't fry them and we don't add the carbohydrates in. We keep the mixtures raw and we play with it while it's cooked. So here it is. It needs two more minutes and will be ready. I lower the fire of my um, heat because it's getting too too high. I know my my thingy here. I know it. That's why. Ξέρω τα μάτια μου δεν δεν είναι δεν αντέχουν πολύ ανεβαίνει πολύ γρήγορα η θερμοκρασία. So now I made the mistake to open this and that was a huge mistake. Let me see if I can fix that. Ah, okay. Well, the carrot is fine. But this, okay, a layer, keep it there. You see, this doesn't need uh, maybe a little bit to close it, to push it inwards, but not too much. Okay, let me see what Yvonne, Yvonne is doing. So what are you doing, guys? Y Yvette, Yvette, what are you doing? Tell me, give me a rest, rest a little bit, Max. I think my, my blender is probably the, the worst in the world. It's just not, it gets keeps getting stuck. But my one good burger, and um, I don't know. Oh, it looks like Bravo, Andrea. Mm -hmm. it's, I don't know if you can see. I don't see it. No, a little bit higher. Ah, okay, something. But this is not enough it, for everyone. <laughs> one burger. It is only me in the house and my kids, so we're, we can start small. <laughs> Okay, you know what you can do? You can just stir fry some lentil, what the mixture that it didn't go well, didn't become a yeah. burger. Just stir fry it with a little bit of oil. Just stir fry it. Make it like okay. a crumble egg, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah. And, and mix I've it. Two bad ones, two bad ones. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. That, this is what I've done, as I mentioned before, uh, and use it as a wrap. Yes, use it as a wrap. That's a crumble egg, and use it as a wrap. It's Beautiful. It's the taste that counts, not the shape. Yes. Well, not the shape. It's the taste, and the taste is beautiful. True. Brilliant. 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 Valia, show me your burger. Oh, I will bur burn the burgers, and then Max will not Wait. eat. Let me hold the iPad. Hold it. Okay. Valia, show me your burgers. Valia. Perfect, baby. Perfect. So now it's the last step. The last step. Oh my God. I hope I didn't. Okay, let's them. continue here. All right. Now, the last step is to add the oil. Now, one plate. Mm, where was the thing? It was there. So, so okay, I, I could I could remove it earlier, but then I start talking to you. Uh, okay, but it's not that bad. So mm, now it's good. hot, 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 hot burgers. Steaming and hot burgers. Yes. I like that. Max is trying to, to catch the steam. So now look what we are doing. One teaspoon of olive oil or any other oil, local oil you have, and 
Massage it. <laughs> Massage it with the oil. Exactly. Very nice. Thank you, Mark. Don't be afraid of the oil. It's raw and it's good for you. So add the oil right now. And you will see because it's hot, it will absorb it. But it will be raw. It will not be cooked. And uh, me and Max, we eat a lot of oil here. I can see. I, I know that Max also likes uh, oil. Yes. And he needs it. Remember, vegans need fat. Don't uh, eat things that are fat-free if you are vegan. You need the fat. You need the fat. And here we are. Look at them. Uh, Max, look. Looks great. And we it's will. And now this, this is ready. So this is in the toaster. And this is in the toaster. You see the in break. And we will do the same for them. Here we are. And so I use four burgers, four big spoons of oil. Don't be afraid of the oil, I repeat. Andrea, I can see you made very nice burgers. Bravo, Andrea, I'm very happy. All right, that's it, finished, we're done. We nice. have the sauce, we have the rice, we have the burgers. Serve food and you can watch uh, Max eating while you, I answer to your question. So, Max, what do you want? Tell me. I want a spinach burger. This is, yeah. This one, Which yeah. Uh, uh, toaster or pan? The pan. A pan? Why you chose the pan? I don't know. It looks nice. They it looks look nice. nice. And what else do you want? You, you have the, to... This one here. Which one? This one. this one. All right. Why did you choose this one? So I have one of each. You one know? of each. All right. <laughs> and your oat. Uh, Max doesn't uh, eat too much gluten. But the oats will yeah, be the fine. Oats are, the oats. Uh, so I will add. So. Get your plates ready. Your no plates <laughs> ready now. The only taste that is missing from this is the uh, lemony, the lemony sour, sour as ostrichin or sour. I don't know. Acidic. Acidic, anyway, they are acidic. For this, you can add lemon on your burgers, or I have some, I've made some spicy and non spicy uh, fermented vegetables, mm. which will help with uh, digestion as well. And you can eat it with us. So, this now nice. it's a complete meal. I control, you control the carbs you will eat. The carbs should be uh, enough so they can. Uh, Actually, the cup should be twice as much, twice as much as the length. Smells nice. nice. Uh, so that's why we need, uh, we use this. So now this is a complete meal and is alive. Nothing pre-cooked. Oil is not cooked. Uh, local, everything local, everything whole. And you will eat this food and then you will not need to eat for the next five hours at least. Questions while Max is eating. So let's get this yes. set up Any here. Any questions? Uh, uh, yeah, show me. Tell them. You guys here, can also you write it. questions Sorry. here ah, on YouTube. Sorry, add the, add the sauce. The sauce if you want. You can add the sauce as well. Okay. Uh, Max, do you want sauce on your food? Yes, please. All right. I will put it at the side so you can uh, use it as, as much as you want. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Show to the YouTube people the play. Maybe we can take a photo of it as well. Of course. YouTube people. Here is our food, the sauce, the rice or oat, and the um, spinach and carrot burger. This is a complete meal, full meal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Can you hold it closer to the laptop? Uh, so we see that we're, yes. we're live here with the yummy food. <laughs> it makes any sense. Okay. All right, great. Okay, I think we can close the YouTube. After, well, it's reconnecting. 
Okay, do your stuff there and I'm talking to the others. So everyone that's on here, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna enjoy this food now and make sure uh, everyone that's on here or found this video later that you're gonna uh, subscribe to the Solar Kitchen Bar channel because there's lots of more cooking videos and maybe also lives coming. And yeah, let us know in the comments how you liked it, if you also cooked it, and just make sure to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you're gonna get a notification if there's something new we post here on the channel. So enjoy, you guys have a great day, and see you soon.